Hello everybody. Today we're making soup. No, actually we're not. We're taking dents out of foam today. For those of you that work on your airplanes and crash them into trees like I do or whatever, um, this is the method that you would use to remove those dents. Make sure you wear a pot holder and use a level or a ladle <laughs> and then you want to come over to your dents. I highlighted them with blue so you could see them and you just pour your hot water over the dents. You don't want to take your your plane, your wing or anything like that and hold it over your boiling water on top of the stove. If you do that, your the little beads in your foam will puff up and it'll look like popcorn popping and that's basically what it's called as a nickname is popcorn and then you've got to figure out how to get it down some people smash them down with your thumb or your fingers or sand them down either way that doesn't work very well but anyways this is the method that I use to take down my my dents in my airplane wings Turn that off real quick. Over here, we've got my wing off my apprentice. And as you can see here, there's chunks of foam missing. All those fun things like that. That's That happens. It's called hanger rash or sometimes a hard landing. So what you want to use is a spackling. You can get this at any... Um, hardware store or you can get this at a Home Depot or Lowe's any place like that I like to get the color stuff it's a light pink color open that up I have to use both hands because this is impossible can't get it open hold on a second I've been using this method for a long time and recently I put my airplane up for sale one of my apprentices and some air watched my video and I had mentioned drywall compound. And what you want to do is take some of this on a, on a plastic card, take it and just smear it onto your, your little holes here. See how that fills it right in? That's what I mean by drywall. Okay. This doesn't add any extra weight to the plane per se. You might have to go over it several times. You can leave it built up a little bit along there. Let it dry. The stuff does shrink. You may have to go over it several times. That's not a problem. Do the same thing here. Let that dry. And then you can go by you can go through it later on and sand it. And then what you want to do is take a craft paint. I use this folk art. It matches pretty good as far as the uh, foam is concerned. And then what I do to finish it off, take Mod Podge. The stuff, I'll open it up and show it to you. It's really thick and heavy. But what I do is I thin it down. Sorry about the moving around bit on the camera. It's hard to do two things at once. But you want to take the Mod Podge. Take it, thin it out. See how thick that is? You don't want it that thick. And then what I do is over the painted area, wherever that painted area is, and just take this stuff. You can smear it on. It dries clear like that. Or you can brush it on. You can use a brush or a foam brush, whatever you want to do. Let that dry. And that'll seal that paint so that water do whatever and it'll actually form like a skin just like you would if you take a piece of tape packing tape and put over that as you can see there's a little crack here that I fixed and I'm going to do a demonstration on that today and show you how to fix a crack but anyways this is something that anybody that fixes a plane these are the type of techniques that you want to use to fix your plane there's nothing wrong with using drywall compound or patching or spackling to fix the little dents and holes in your plane. It doesn't hurt a thing. I highly recommend it for any type of repair that you need to do. This is something I want to fix too. See this piece missing out of this wing? 
it's something we're going to work on too. All right, that's my video, and we'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.